Okay, let's look at another thing that we can do with our custom inspector. Again, we're not going to redraw everything yet, but I just want to show you a couple other things. Let's actually use our information here to dynamically create a, a difficulty bar. So in this case, I want to take all the combat stats and I want to do some calculation and display a just general difficulty to the designer. So I could come in here and I could change these stats and tweak them. And I can very quickly see generally how powerful is this monster. So let's let's take a look at that. So we have our target here. We have our label field and we have some spacing. Maybe right underneath that. The difficulty bar. And then we have our normal inspector. So you can actually look up the code for Unity's progress bar is what we're going to use. So Unity editor API uh, progress bar. Um, this is the one that I'm looking at right here. So this is what it's going to look like and I'm going to have difficulty and then it will just automatically populate. I don't want the designer to be able to drag the difficulty. Uh, I want it to calculate based off of the values that they put in the combat stat. So um, you can see some code examples down here on how to use it. Uh, we'll, we'll do our own calculation here. The first thing we need to know is we need to calculate the difficulty. Now, this is kind of arbitrary, right? Like, for example, if we were to calculate the difficulty as being damage plus health plus speed, you know, that's assuming that all these stats are equally balanced, right? We'd probably want that to be a little more specific. Uh, but just for the sake of example, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pretend that all combat stats are equal. I'm going to say difficulty is equal to, uh, let's see here, we'll say data dot health. These are all our combat stats plus data dot damage plus data dot speed. And you know, that's going to give us some crazy value. The thing though is for our progress bar, if we look up back at this, uh, our progress bar is going to be a value between zero and one. So we actually, you know, this is zero, this is one. We need to give it a value in between. So um, we can mani manipulate this data a bit if we want. Let's say, uh, let's do it this way. Uh, we're gonna break out our, our method for our progress bar down here. We're just gonna call this void progress bar. Again, this is the code that was pulled from Unity. When it comes to editor scripting, a lot of times it's gonna be like look up inside of the uh, their API, figure out what works, kind of tweak the example because a lot of their old editor code is not not super consistent and there's just some weird stuff about it. So you kind of just tweak it and you look back in the window and you make sure it's you know working how you want. It's a little little bit loose. Okay, so to create our progress bar, let's call it progress bar. And it's looking for a couple things. So we need a rectangle. Um, we can define the rectangle up here. This is the part that I'm not super sure on, but the way that they have it in their code is they define a rectangle with, okay, so it's GUI layout utility dot get rect. Um, and then they have some values here. Uh, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what they put. They put 18, 18, and then text field. Um, I believe it's pulling some kind of template for how to display it there according to, you know, this, like so, something related to the, um, the content here and within a height, I tried changing this value. It didn't make a difference. Uh, this value, I'll show you how this can affect it in a second. Uh, and then in order to create our progress bar, we need to give it the rectangle, our value, which we'll calculate, and then our label, which is, you know, if, if this is if this bar is difficulty, this is going to be our label right here. We'll we'll print what this thing is. So this will be difficulty. Uh, you know, we could call this difficulty, but maybe we want to reuse this, right? So we'll pass in parameters if we want multiple different bars here. So let's see. In order to create a progress bar, we need a value. We need a, a string label, I believe. Okay, so our bar is gonna have our label, which will be, we'll call this one difficulty, and then our value between zero and one. We'll calculate it up here, and then we will progress bar, then we'll give it the values you want. Okay, so we need to give it the difficulty value. It will take this value, it will determine a rectangle, and then it will draw the progress bar. It'll use this rank rectangle to draw it. We're going to receive the value and then we're going to receive the label. So we're gonna send it the value, which is gonna be difficulty. We're gonna send it the label, which will be difficulty, just like that. Let's just see what happens, All right? Save it. We are pulling 
the health, the damage, and the speed from the data. We're taking that, we're adding it all together to some big value. We were passing this on the progress bar and uh, we were giving the progress bar label. We could do this all up here, but this is just a little bit more reusable in case we decide to do multiple things. So we'll save it. Okay, so we have our progress bar. So one thing I may want is I'm gonna want a little bit of spacing here and you'll see that it's filled up all the way. So the reason for that is because this value needs to be between zero and one. So right now, if you know our health, right? Our health is like five or something or five or something, five. We add that all together, it's way bigger than one. So maybe what we do is divide it by a hundred. See what that does. And now it's really small, right? You know, and this is all assuming that, you know, what if our health can go up to 200 or something? You know, we don't know yet. So we may want to be fancier with this calculation later. For now, it doesn't really matter. Um, but the point is, if we save it, oh, I mentioned adding space. Let's do that here. We'll say editor GUI layout space. Uh, we could give it a value, 10, okay. All right, so now if we were to change these values, like 10, you see how the difficulty is going up, right? But we could hit a point where the difficulty is max. And maybe that's fine, right? Like maybe we could adjust this calculation however you want, right? The difficulty is determined by however you want to, to do that right here. But as long as you take a value and you put it between zero and one uh, and you pass it in, then you could do this. So again, this code could be up here, but this is just a little bit cleaner. Okay, um, and you'll notice that this difficulty slider is not selectable, right? Like it's calculating dynamically from the values, but it is nice for a designer to be able to quickly see, oh, okay, this is a very powerful monster. Uh, this monster is not very powerful. This one is very powerful. And, you know, as we're tweaking values, maybe that's a cool little thing. So I just wanted to give you another little option. Um, another thing I, I mentioned before, if we adjust the height on this uh, rectangle, right? Like so we could say 40. Right. It's it's a little taller. Um, looks a little nicer too. Uh, like I said, I tried messing with this value, and I you know I didn't really get anything different. Text field, uh, whatever. So maybe it's doing something else behind the scenes. It, it's not super important to me right now. As long as you understand how you can utilize a progress bar really simply inside of an inspector, you can control the value however you want, and you can display. Like this is one way in which you can display information. And um, we're just adding it onto our custom inspector, or we're adding it onto our normal inspector, right? Like we're putting it right at the top. We still have not redrawn this. We're still kind of just adding things around it, which is a good place to start to add some customization. So there you go, a uh, little, little display bar to help you display information.